Hi, everybody. I wanted to, um, <clears throat> I just read through this book called, it's by John C. Maxwell, well-known leadership expert, um, self-help expert. And uh, it's called Leadership Gold. There's a lot of great information in the book, but I just wrote down a bunch of things that I highlighted in the book, and I'm going to share them with you. It talks about leadership in this book. It says, train others. Let them accompany you. Train them. Then let them take a shot. Leadership is about taking others to the top. Leadership is relational. Never climb alone. Learning to lead yourself is the biggest challenge. A leader who learns to obey first makes a better leader. Leaders must be accountable. Handling the critical moments is what defines a leader. Help to form us, so critical moments help to form us and show others who we are. There are also opportunities to change the direction. Defining moments, when we handle them, we become better. As leaders, we must get used to criticism. If you never, one way to never get criticism, criticism is never to do or say anything, but that means you're not leading either. Be real, be authentic, follow your passion. Our passion is, helps us to unlock our potential, our leadership potential. Leaders need passion. Passion is one of the biggest, biggest difference makers in our leadership. Passion has the, the, the ability to provide igniting energy. Learn to listen first. So seek to understand first and then to be understood. Always seek to understand. Learn to listen to the whispers. Listening builds trust. Find your strength zone and stay there. So find what your strength is and stay in that area. Success, number one, find your purpose. Number two, your potential. Number three, sowing seeds into others. So three things we should do to be successful as a leader. Our purpose, work to our maximize our potential, and work to sow seeds into others to make them great also. Discover your own uniqueness. Then discipline yourself. Study and know to the people you lead. We have to study the people and know the people we lead. Communicate their roles. What are they good at? What are they, how do they fit into the organization? You have to communicate that. We have to communicate that as leaders. How do people fit? Realistic leaders, they define reality and they are real with themselves about what reality really is. They face reality and make changes accordingly. He asked a question. After your leadership experience, what will you be remembered for? What will be your leg legacy? Learn to ask questions. There's no dumb questions. Leadership makes things, can makes things better or worse, depending on the type of leader you are, we are. To understand the leader, he says simply, we have to view the followers. Leaders equal, number one, going somewhere. If a leader's going somewhere, number two, usually others will be following. Great leaders inspire people to have confidence in not only the leader, but in themselves. When you look at a great leader, you can look at something. Are the others around that leader succeeding also, not just the leader? Good people are found, not changed. Don't send ducks to eagle school. So, you know, if you know someone's a duck, don't try to make an ego out of them. You're asking them to do something they really can't. And it's just going to frustrate them and, 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 and discourage them. If you want an eagle, you got to find eagles, either from within or outside the organization. 
Leadership equals putting people into the right place according to their strengths. Leaders help people move out of their comfort zone, but not out of their strength zone. It says if you need eagles, then go find eagles. Don't try to make something else into an eagle. Leaders concentrate on the main thing. They know what the main things are and they prioritize them. Reduce the complicated. Leaders are great at reducing the complicated to the simple. Making complicated things simple. Great leaders are not afraid to ask, hey, what mistakes am I making? And then readjusting once you know the real answer. Failure equals part of the process. Failure is part of our leadership process. Learn to maximize your time. He says time is our most valuable coin. Good leaders equal good learners. Leading equals learning. I think there was a quote in the book by John F. Kennedy that said that. He says a little thing he does, he reads daily to help him grow. He listens daily to help him broaden his horizons. He thinks every day to begin to apply what he's learning, and he files every day to preserve what he's learning. Execute the vision. Everyone always, won't always follow, and it won't always please everybody. When you, when you, when you present your vision and you, you move in a certain direction, it's not always going to please everybody, but we, can't, we have to get past that point of wanting to please everybody. The right leader does right during tough times. Keep leading no matter how tough the times get. You lead through tough times, people will learn to have more confidence in you and your leadership ability. People quit people before they quit companies. Evaluate, he says, experience is not the best teacher. Evaluated experience is the best teacher. So you have an experience and you go back and you Reflect on it. You evaluate it. That's your best teacher. How can you get better from the experience you've already had? Communicate with influencers. So if you want to have a meeting in a month, he says, as a leader, and you want to present something, you should know who the influencers are in your organization who influence other people. And you should meet with them before the meeting and get the general feel of how they feel about it. Because if they love it, they're going to influence others. And when you get to the meeting, it's going to just be easy to make it happen. Meetings before the meeting are key, he says. Learn to be a connector. Learn to connect in order to climb. Not step over people. Be a bridge builder. Learn to make the right choices. Really assess what the choices are and make the right choices. Leadership is influence. He says, your influence as a leader should be loaned, not given. No one to give it out. No one to loan it. Let go of what you have. Sometimes as leaders, we have to, we can't move on to what, we, what we're desiring or what we're going after because we can't, we can't seem to let go of what we already have, that thing that's already, we already there. We're, we're satisfied with it. Not everyone will finish the journey with you. Remember that. He said, not who will lead, but when. A lot of people make a leader, it takes a lot of people, people to make a leader successful. He says a lot of great leaders are, were successful because a lot of other people wanted them to be successful. Here are some different types of people he said that he has around him. Time relievers, gifters, team players, creative thinkers, door closers, people developers, servant leaders, mind stretchers. Relational networkers, spiritual mentors, unconditional lovers. So once again, this book, this was, uh, th these were some of the golden nuggets, some great information from the, the book Leadership Gold by John C. Maxwell, well-known leadership export, ex expert. And also, if you want to go and find some videos that you could actually learn more about this stuff, he's talking about, because this book is divided into chapters, he talks about uh, for example, the first chapter is called, If It's Lonely at the Top, You're Wrong. Okay, then he'll talk about, he'll um, basically explain, go through that chapter, the chapters aren't real long, and then he'll have like an applied, um, an activity at the end of the chapter. He also suggests that you go to look at some of the videos 
that are there. And here I'm going to give you the site. It's www.johnmaxwell.com slash leadership gold. www.johnmaxwell.com slash leadership gold. So enjoy the, hope you enjoyed this book, little book review I did for you. Thank you.